Okay, this is where things are gonna get just a little bit wishy-washy. Usually the climactic part of the story happens sort of right on the cusp of the turnover between Acts 3 and Acts 4. Okay, and it's really gonna depend on the structure of your story. Different stories do it differently and that's perfectly okay. But in terms of the internal, there's also something that is called the transformation. It is the moment when the character sort of overcomes the internal thing that they've been struggling with, okay? Um, and the thing, the reason this is wishy-washy is because this can happen at the moment of you know the external climactic point of the story it can also happen before so sometimes they can have their internal transformation and that's what makes them realize what they have to do in order to win um, during that climactic moment therefore you know they'll, they'll have the transformation first and then they'll head into whatever that is the last battle the final confrontation that sort of thing but another way that stories sometimes do it is that they are right in the middle of that confrontation and have no idea how they're gonna pull this off. Like they're toast because they don't know what to do. And then in the middle of that situation is where they kind of have their epiphany, go through the transformation, and then of course, you know, end up kind of triumphing at the end. So you can do it either way, um, but it's really important that you have that element in your story. But the point is that can come kind of at the end of act three or the beginning of act four. You know, you can kind of play with how you want to do that in your story. But no matter how you do it, the point is that in Act 4, the hero or heroine is finally going to solve the problem, figure out how to overcome and, and come to the solution, right? They are going to kind of overcome the villain. And the thing is, I've kind of come up with names for them in the previous three acts here. They are the martyr. Now, that doesn't literally mean that they need to die. It just means, means they need to be willing to die. And of course, that death doesn't have to be literal. There's lots of different death stakes. It could be romance. It could be... Um, you know, some sort of money, reputation, anything like that. But they have to be willingly sacrificial of something that they wanted before. And the fact that they are willing to sacrifice that thing is what usually leads to them actually achieving it. Okay, so they are a martyr here. Whether they actually physically die or not, they have to be a willing sacrifice. The other thing to keep in mind is even if you're writing sort of a reverse journey for them, like it's going to end in tragedy, that's fine. It'll actually follow the same structure and the same things will happen in the same places. It's just going to be a matter of they don't quite achieve their aims and so therefore it ends tragically. Or maybe they die um, because they did achieve their aims, but you know maybe they achieved their aims internally, but not externally. I mean, there's tons of different ways you can go with your story, but these elements still need to be um, included in your fourth act. And of course, it ends with the resolution of the story and the ending of the story.